Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing another crocheting tag. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I, I was just sitting here crocheting and I thought I would start filming a crocheting chat <laughs> because they're fun to film and I know a lot of people like watching them. So I'm just sitting here on my love seat. I've got material laying everywhere and you can't see it, but there's a table right here full of sewing notions. Uh, and you're actually sitting on a table with my sewing machine on it because I was working on some project bags. Ooh, I got I got a bunch of bags made. They just don't have the drawstring casings on them yet. And they'll be going up in the shop eventually. <laughs> but these are ones that I'm still piecing together and it's just sewing stuff everywhere. But um, I was watching YouTube videos um, trying to catch up on everybody in between sewing so I could hear it. And I was watching Billy and um, she's the... I can't remember now her channel name. I'm so bad at remembering people's names. But it's either the Crafton Floridian. Oh, I can't remember. I'll pop it up on the screen. I'm so bad at remembering that. But she had a couple videos out and I was trying to get caught up on hers. And uh, one was her opening up her Valentine's Day swap, which was so fun. I loved watching her opening up her um, gifts because her reactions were so genuine and emotional. It was cool. But she also, she had a little video up um, before that about um, collecting hats for a school that I think her nephew or great nephew goes to. They have uh, kindergartners and first graders, so like five or seven year olds that um, they're wanting to collect hats for. And she wanted uh, other people to send in some so that she could send a whole box of them off to them. So I have some yarn that um, I've been wanting to use up anyway, so I thought I would make some hats. So since watching her, um, video and I'll link her below if you've not heard of her or if you would like to make hats also which would be an awesome idea um I made two hats so far <laughs> sitting here to be forever get the size right because I kept making them either way too small for a five to seven year old or way too big but I finally found a pattern that works it won't fit on my head and it it is slightly bigger than Jesse's hat so it's in the middle of toddler and me which I have a pretty small head so I think this would be a good size so um, I've got two skeins of Red Heart, not Red Heart, I love this yarn, Prince, uh, let's see here, the one I'm working on right now is called Sunrise Sky, and I made two hats with it, and I weighed each hat, and each of these hats weigh 1.4 through 1.5 ounces, and then I weighed uh, my leftover bit, and it was 2.1, so I should have enough yarn to make one more hat. So I thought this was a good boy color. I mean, a girl could too, but it's also, you know, would go good with boy or girl. So I'm going to make three um, out of this color. I'm working on one right now. And then I got this other, uh, I love this yarn that I've had forever. It was part of that clearance sale last spring. This one's called, what is this one called? Elements Flower. Is that right? Elements Flower. It's purpley and gray. Um, I thought this this kind of looks more girly, but I mean if a boy likes purple go for it, whatever So I should be able to get six hats out of these two skeins That's just been sitting in my craft room for a year So I thought I would pull them out and make six hats I thought it would only make four but uh, from weighing the yarn and the size of the hats and all that I should be able to get three hats out of each of them So that's six that I can send her and there's actually two more skeins in there that I might pull out and make more hats with. Uh, this is a super quick pattern. Like I said, I've made two and I'm already starting on the third one. So now that I've talked about all that, I'm going to sit here and crochet after I remember how, what stitches I was on. Okay. So yeah, I just thought that would be neat to, um, to help in multiple ways. You know, one, help Billy reach her goal. And two, actually help the kids that need hats. Um... It's neat, you know, to uh, be able to just do something like, you know, I'm sitting here watching TV, doing something that's fun for me, just a hobby that's fun to crochet, but I'm also going to be able to help out some people. So I definitely, I'm going to send at least six off, because <laughs> I'm going to make these six. Um, I'd like to try to finish them all tonight, that'd be cool, but it's already a little after nine, so I don't know if I'll be able to uh, get all six of them done, but I'll at least have three of them done tonight. It is Wednesday, January 30th, yeah, tomorrow's the last day of January, 
and uh, Jesse's at my mom's. He got to go back finally. He hadn't been there in like a week because of, uh, I messed up my stitch, because of sickness and all that. And he is a little, um, got like a head cold going on. But it's not too bad. It's just boogers. <laughs> um, so most of my day has been spent sewing, like I mentioned, and cleaning. Earlier today, I cleaned a whole lot. I always try to clean when Jesse's gone because it's easier when he's not here to clean, to do major cleaning things like mopping and such. Um, Devin's at work right now, so I'm just sitting here. I was binge watching Downton Abbey. I started it over um, a week or so ago, and now I'm on season four. So I've got the rest of season four and then all of season five to watch. A really red noise. I guess that's my neighbors. Um, before it's over with, and the movie of that is coming out this September. I think September twentieth is the day that it premieres in theaters, and I definitely want to go see that when it comes out because I love Downton Abbey, and I'm sure I will love the movie. I don't know what it's going to be about though because um, I looked at the IMDb page for it, and it's got all the exact same characters off of the last season of Downton Abbey. So I'm assuming it's going to be after this the series ended. Um, so that'll be cool to see what they all do with it. I hate that the, sh the show was canceled. I wish it could have kept going for a few more years. But nothing can last forever, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I do have a No Catch Your Name episode filmed. I filmed one yesterday. I just haven't gotten around to editing it yet. It's super late. I usually, I've been trying to get them to come out on the weekends. And, um, this week, this past weekend, Devin was off from work, so we were busy doing family stuff, and, um, I just didn't get the time to do it. So I did film one yesterday, I just haven't edited it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow, maybe. And, um, so, my next, the one after number 69 will either be late also, or it will be, it won't have much in it, <laughs> because I will, um, I only have a few days to make stuff. Although I'll have at least three hats because I'm going to finish this one and I'll have those two. I haven't finished anything else, have I? No. Well, yes, I did. I did have, I made a Christmas ornament. So I guess it won't be too empty. <laughs> um, thinking about it now. But yeah, so. I'm also cooking, so if the, um, if it cuts, it's because I had to go cook all, or check out my food or whatever. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. I think I increased enough. Okay. Yes. So now I can just straight double crochet, which will be easier for me to talk and crochet without having to actually count. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me see. What can I think about? Uh, I made, I'm working on the bags. I'm going to have six sets of llama bags, two sets of Mickey Mouse bags, and two sets of Minnie Mouse bags in the shop soon. I can't exactly say when because um, I'm only cro or crocheting, sewing them as I get the chance to. It's easier for me to sew when Jesse's not here. I can sew when he's here. It's just, um, it takes a lot longer to finish one bag because he, he'll come in there and I'll stop and talk to him or play with him or whatever. And uh, so when he's gone, I try to do a lot of sewing. I did a lot of sewing today, um, hours and hours worth while watching Downton Abbey. And um, so I'll be getting those finished up. I want to try to get them up on the shop this coming weekend, the first weekend of February, just because I want to hurry up and get them up, you know, get them done. Um, and I've got a lot of material in my stash. My oven. <laughs> I got a lot of material in my stash that I'm going to try to work through too. Um, I've got some Easter prints that was given to me by Carla <laughs> and um, I'd like to make some bags from that and get them up for you know way before Easter so that if someone wants an Easter bag they can uh, get it you know without it being the week before Easter or whatever. Um, I've still got some in my shop and some of them seem kind of St. Patrick's Daisy to me. The there's like a green floral one. I think there's a Pokemon bag left in there right now. But, 
all the bags I'm making this week are either sacks or they're boxed bottom but in a different way. Uh, it's like a simpler way to do a box bottom. Just because of time, I wanted to hurry up and get them out so I didn't make them the super fancy box bottoms. <laughs> Just like the slightly boxed bottoms. But that's okay. So I've got a lot of whips going on. I'm still working on my Jada and Stitches um, 2019 calendar blanket, the first part that she released. I finished all of the dark blue and I started with the dark brown. But I did that over the weekend when Devin and Jesse were, you know, we were all here <laughs> so i was distracted a lot by my boys so um i didn't get to crochet a lot i don't crochet a lot when devin's home because i want to spend time with him since he works all week but um he's supposed to work this saturday and i think he said that his boss said that they'll be working pretty much every saturday from now until a long time from now <laughs> so um i'll be able to get a lot of weekend crochet time in then because i can crochet with jesse when he's uh watching TV or playing in the floor and um, whoops I messed up. I accidentally did a half double crochet but yeah that's whatever I was saying <laughs> I, uh, I got quite a few whips going right now and I have uh, let's see here I have the 2019 scrap blanket I have Jaden Stitches 2019 and 2017 going is that all the blankets I have going I do have a baby blanket kind of in um, hibernation because I, I need to find a yarn that matches it and I just haven't got around to doing it yet so I have three blankets going right now and I'll actually be starting another one really soon the one for the fair because I want to get started on it early this year because um, it's gra it involves graphs and uh, I'm not the best at doing graphs, so I wanted to um, get started on it super early so I wouldn't have to pressure myself. Last year with the Mandala Madness, I started it two months before the fair. I started it on June 20th or 22nd, and I finished it August 20th or 22nd, whatever. It was exactly two months, and the fair started, our fair started last year on the 31st of August. So, um, I got pretty close to not being done with it and that's a huge blanket so I think if I can finish that in two months I can easily finish this new one in you know however many months it is to August <laughs> um, even if I get a little a late start into February or something I still should have plenty of time to do it I just want to give myself extra time just in case the graph seems simple enough but um, like I said I'm not that great at graphs um, it's not that I can't do them, it's just that they're kind of tedious and I don't enjoy them as much as just regular crocheting. So, um, I definitely want to get started on it earlier instead of waiting till last minute. Okay, I'm, I had to go get me a water and check on my food. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's get this all situated. Okay. <laughs> so I'm wearing my mermaid shirt. <laughs> I love Disney. Anything to do with Disney, I love it. And this just says, messy hair, don't care. You can't see that part. Speaking of hair, I entered a giveaway for a local hair salon slash nail salon uh, in my area. It's actually like um, right down the road from here. <laughs> I live in the middle of town. But um, they were giving away a year's worth of nails. Like you can get any, you know, acrylics or gel you know any kind of nail that you wanted uh, a year's worth of it and then apparently they also added to it because it's a shop run by two women and one woman is the nail lady and one is the hair lady and um, apparently the hair lady went ahead and decided to add in haircuts too so they drew two winners the first winner was another girl and she's the one that won the fingernails for a year and then they drew the hair person and it was me <laughs> so I won six free haircuts this year um, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have watched me for my, for long, but I'm pretty sure in the entire time that I've had my YouTube channel, I've only gotten my hair cut once because I don't usually get my hair cut a lot. I used to keep my hair really long um, until Jesse was born, and uh, when he was a little baby, I got it cut <laughs> because it was 
way down my back when he was born and it was just too much of a hassle to deal with my all my hair and uh, a newborn baby. My hair is super thick so it's I can't do anything with it but put it in ponytail. It won't hold curls and I can't style it because it's just too heavy. It's thick and heavy. And um, I know I can get it thinned and when I was a teenager I, I did and every time I got my hair cut I would have them thin it out a lot so that I could do more stuff with it. And then just now as an adult as an actual adult <laughs> uh, I just don't have the time or the extra money to get my hair done I wish I had enough money every month to get my hair cut and colored and my nails done and all that I would love to do that but it's not exactly practical so uh, we don't waste money on that um, Devin and Jesse get their hair cut every month or so I'm not really I only get Jesse's cut when it starts getting too close to his eyes and Devin gets his cut whenever he feels like he needs a cut um, me being a girl, I don't have, I don't necessarily have to get hair cut much, so I pretty much just keep my hair in a ponytail <laughs> behind me or in a bun on top of my head or something, and it's just save a little bit of money, but now I have the option this year to get my hair cut <laughs> if I wanted to, um, get it cut, and, uh, yeah, so I probably will get some of the haircuts. I may actually ask them if I can use that on Devin <laughs> and have his haircut because then that would save us money of getting his haircut but uh, I know Devin will be like no just use it for yourself but I mean there's I can only cut my hair so many times uh, a year or it will, you know I don't want super short hair and uh, I'm not the kind of girl who wants to take the time every day to style my hair I'm always been low maintenance you know I don't want to uh, I don't want to have to get up and flat iron my hair or curl it or put a bunch of products in it. I'm the kind of girl, you know, I I, uh, I wash and condition it and that's about all I do to my hair. <laughs> and uh, pretty much the same with my face and everything else, you know, I, I don't do makeup or anything um, girly. Now, saying that I wouldn't like to, if I had, I always say, I always talk about money, but it's it's true in a lot of cases, you know. If I had more money and I had more time. I would love to be girly. I would love to have my hair done and my wear makeup and you know wear nicer clothes and all that. But it's just more practical to not spend a lot of money on makeup or on hair or on fingernails or on fancy clothes when I'm just home most of the time. I might as well just wear jeans and a t-shirt or in my case sweats, <laughs> especially since it's so cold. I pretty much live in pajamas now. But if I had the opportunity to. Um, be the way I, you know, I would love to be. I would definitely be a fancier version of myself. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy either way, so it doesn't matter. One day I would like to go get my makeup done, like, legit done. Just because I think it would be cool to see what I would look like with actual makeup on. Like, and I told Devin if we ever had, like, an actual fancy wedding, I would probably get my makeup done, but... If we just have a regular one or something, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on it. I would rather spend money, more money on a photographer and a videographer to have better high quality photos and videos than a nice fancy dress and makeup and hair. <laughs> Keep dropping my stitches. But yeah, that's just the kind of person I am. I'm low maintenance. I, uh... I hate having, when I was a teenager, it was popular at the time <laughs> to have like razor cut hair and um, flat hair. Everybody flat ironed their hair. And uh, so I used to have to get up and flat iron my hair all the time and it's annoying to have to style it. And I never could ever, never ever could get my hair to look anything like they did at the salon. Like they would tell you, they kind of tell you how to style it yourself and then I never could get it to work right. So, I guess it's just not my thing. I've just never been that kind of girl. I grew up as like a tomboy and just wasn't my thing, I guess. My sister was, is, she still is, <laughs> girlier than me. And uh, I guess I just didn't get that. So, tomorrow is Thursday, which is my usual grocery shopping day, but we already went grocery shopping over the weekend uh, we joined Sam's Club and I've been wanting to join there forever and they actually do have a lot of really awesome deals um, 
I'm surprised at some of the deals they have <laughs> compared to where we normally shop, which is just Walmart, which is kind of funny because it's the same company. But um, I'm surprised that they can sell stuff for so cheap there. Uh, like, I'd like to see how they make the profit off of that. But <laughs> anyways, um, we got a lot of food and stuff, so we're, we're pretty good on groceries and gas and everything. We already we filled up the car yesterday, I think. I do have to go drop off their rent tomorrow. Check the mail probably, but all we all we ever get is stupid credit card offers and um, different insurances trying to get us to switch to them. <laughs> I don't know why. I wish I could figure out how to get credit card offers to quit coming. They just keep sending them and we just keep not replying because we have no interest in having credit cards and it's just like leave us alone already. And when you call their numbers to uh, get them to quit sending you mail you have to give them your social security number and stuff and i'm not going to do that i'm not going to give my social security number out over the telephone to a credit card company i just i just every time i come i just put it immediately into the shred box because i'm like i don't even care <laughs> we don't want it go away and it's the same thing with uh, car insurance we have a car insurance company that we've had the same one for like two years since we had the car that we got now and every other car insurance company just keeps sending us stinking papers trying to get us to switch to them even though they're more expensive it's just annoying it's just like leave us alone <laughs> we have what we want so leave us alone if we wanted to shop around we would do it on our own is that annoying <laughs> i hate junk mail I'll, i throw away everything that can just be thrown away at the post office they have like paper bins there and if it doesn't have like our uh information on it or i'll rip it off and if it's like junk magazines or those little flyers they put out with like coupons to burger king and all that i just throw it away i don't even bring it home because it's just annoying uh junk mail i do love getting mail though that's one of my favorite things ever uh, growing up i almost always had a pen pal whether it was someone I actually know or a stranger or Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> I wrote some letters to him and he actually responded to them when I was 11, I think it was. That was pretty cool. But um, I love getting mail. I love sending mail. I love getting packages. It makes me so excited when I get a package that I wasn't expecting or a letter or something that I wasn't expecting. I love getting Christmas cards. Last year, this this past last year 20, 2018 I got so many Christmas cards and it was so exciting it was the most I've ever gotten by myself because normally you know pre YouTube <laughs> um, we only got Christmas cards from like family <laughs> and only my family because Devin's family doesn't do that kind of stuff and um, so it was so cool last year to get so many different Christmas cards from so many different people and from different countries so it was really cool and I can't wait to this coming year to do it all over again. I'm going to save them, you know. However many years from now, I'm going to have hundreds of them saved up probably. And, uh, but it's cool. It's so cool to have stuff like that. I keep everything that anyone sends me. Any letters and stuff because I can't throw that away. You know, it's personal. So I got to keep it. <laughs> I'm a sentimental pack rat. I keep all kinds of stuff. I have some of the weirdest things saved as memories and that's what I always tell Devin so I'm always even before I vlogged or anything I told Devin that I have to film and take pictures for memories just in case I get old and I can't remember anything I could look back and see stuff like that but I keep little tokens of everything like I have in my special boxes I have balloons from parties or confetti or wrappers from certain things and bags from certain things I just keep everything I keep ticket stubs from everything any cards or mail or anything like that that I have. Napkins from special events like from my college graduation I have some of the cocktail napkins that had on it the school's name and graduate like 20 whatever year that was 2010. <laughs> uh, no it wasn't. 2013. And um, all that kind of stuff. I just love keeping stuff like that. We still have a bottle of um, the bottle of the sparkling cider <laughs> it's like 
it was grape juice, sparkling juice, because we didn't drink wine at the time, me and Devin. We still have that bottle, an empty bottle from some date that we went on years ago. I don't even remember the date. <laughs> I remember that it was from a date, I just don't remember the date. But yeah, we just keep all kinds of little stuff like that. I'm a very sentimental person. And a pack rat. <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that. I think I'm almost done with this hat. I gotta count my rolls. I think I should have 12. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, I gotta do finish this row and do another one and then two row of single crochet. But yeah. So tell me what you guys are working on this week. I got so many whips going. And I need to slow down and actually finish some of them. I hate it when I get going on whips and I start a whole bunch of them. Because then I feel really flustered to finish them. <laughs> and, uh, but it's okay. A lot of the whips that I do have going are long-term whips. Like, all the blankets I have going are, um, crochet along, you know. Uh, I can't do all the squares until I get them. And the 2017 one that's already released, you know, I can just take my time. I've already done up to March, so I'm, I'm, if I'm, I'm good there. <laughs> if I wanted to slow down, I could. Um, I got my seagull amigurumi, which I do actually need to work on because I want to film some videos about amigurumi with him <laughs> as the example. And uh, what else am I working on? I can't even remember. I'm trying to look at my whips bags as if they're going to tell me what's in them. The blankets, the seagull blankets a seagull. I think that's all I'm working on. So I don't have any other amigurumis going. I want to make a rosy wrap from Randy's pattern. Uh, I really want some, some, I might make like a couple of them because like these hairs right here that never want to stay in my ponytail, I want to be able to have them pushed to where they stay at least behind my ears so that while I'm running around cleaning and stuff they're not like flapping around in my face and getting on my nerves. <laughs> So, um, I used to, like, in the early 2000s, when it was cool, I used to wear bandanas all the time to clean and do everything. I'm an obsessive cleaner. <laughs> I've been cleaning ever since I was a kid, and I have this horrible habit of wanting to clean and organize all the time. If I'm not, like, if I'm not sitting around crocheting, and I'm just sitting around doing nothing, I'll start cleaning. And I have a bad habit of when I'm in other people's houses, and I've had to work my way out of this. Because I've offended people <laughs> before. But if I'm at someone else's houses for a while, I will start cleaning their house. And it's not because I think it's dirty. It's just because that's just what I do. I just clean. I like to clean. And uh, I like to have things put in their place. <laughs> and I just love being in a clean area. I don't know. It's just a thing. But anyways, ever since the 90s, I used to always just... You know, fold the square banana in half into like a triangle shape and then tie it on my head. And, which was big back then. I wrote all the teenager girls did that. <laughs> in my area at least. Um, and I would wear that and just clean like that. Let me count my rolls in because I already forgot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Counted it twice. There are 12. <laughs> Now I can do two rolls of single crochet. This hat looks different than the other ones. Oh, I'm sure they look the same. <laughs> I, just, I, I grabbed this one from the inside of the ball because I got tired of it flap, flopping around all over the living room floor. But yeah, so I like to clean. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an obsessive cleaner. Oh, and Kayla, if you're watching this, Llama Mama Kayla, I put the hot chocolate up on our our movie shelf and as soon as Jesse seen it he wanted it I, I knew he would <laughs> oh, if I put this out before my no catch name episode you won't know what I'm talking about but Kayla does um, and I mentioned in that video that I knew that Jesse would want it when he seen it and he did as soon as he saw it he said that he wanted it he wanted it he wanted it and I kept telling him no it's mama's leave it up there because <laughs> I know that as soon as he gets it he's gonna tear the eyeballs out or the heart button off or something he's gonna mess it up in one way or another but yeah it's up there safely on the shelf but I can see it and love it from here 
I love that little mug. It's so cute. I love hot chocolate. And I love anything to do with marshmallows because it reminds me of s'mores and that reminds me of all the fun that we had, that we've had and probably will continue having <laughs> with Devin's dad because we, during the summers and falls, he does fire pits a lot in the backyard and we make like hot dogs and s'mores and stuff and it's just a lot of fun. That's why I have a s'more Christmas tree ornament to remember that by and that's why I have a s'more cuddler somewhere <laughs> around the house. Jesse's done something with it uh, just to remember it by. And also, speaking of ornaments, um, today is January 30th, so February 3rd is next Monday. And if you're a Disney fan, February 3rd is 2319, which is 2319. And if you're a Disney fan, you know what 2319 means. So on Monday, February 3rd, 2319, I'm going to make a um, crochet sock. And I'm going to make that into a Christmas ornament for our tree this year because I like to make uh, ornaments that mean something and that have memories attached to them. So I'm going to be making a sock for 2319 for this year as a remembrance token <laughs> from that. If you're not a Disney fan, um, 2319 is a code on the movie Monsters Inc. Um, which I can't ex I can't sit here and explain the whole movie if you've never seen it, but it's a kids movie or a Disney movie, <laughs> and uh, when the monster comes back from the human realm and back into the monster realm, he has a sock on his back, which is like a contamination. You're not supposed to bring anything human back with you, so they they yell twenty three nineteen twenty three nineteen, and he gets contaminated. Um, the cleaning I can't remember what it's called, but like they they end up shaving all his fur off and he's just naked, all because he had a sock on his back from the human world so um, I'm gonna make a sock to remember that by I actually designed the actual sock from the movie with the same little flower shape on it but I could not get it to turn into a graph the way I wanted it to so I might work on that eventually and trying to make it fit the way I want it to but until then I'm just gonna make a sock I'll probably make just a plain white one so that it doesn't look super Christmassy and get mixed in with all the stocking socks but it'll be its own special one and I might even um, top crochet on there 2319 because I think that'd be so funny because uh, the, this this will be the only year that we will have a 2319 so it's February 3rd 2019 so it's 2319 so I think that's neat and if you're a Disney fan you could totally join me along <laughs> I'm sure I'll mention it in the Facebook group also and of course in the No Catch Name episode after it so, I just think that's fun. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go in there and get my food and eat it. And sit here and wait for Devin to get home from work. And I'm almost done with this hat and I'll show it to you. Ugh. So, I almost made an entire hat. I had already started it a little bit. And there's the third one. It's still attached. But I have three hats to send to Billy. And I'm going to make hopefully three more. Well, my finger stuck out of the purple one. I actually do have a little bit of this left that I will wind up into a ball and save it for something. Um, actually, I know exactly what I'll do with that. Because <laughs> I started one of those ugly balls like um, Randy's made them and Terry's made them. Uh, where you put all your yarn bits that are too small to use for other things into a big ball. And make a, like an afghan or something out of it. Um... I think Terry made a cake, but I'm going to make, uh, I'm making a ball because I like winding the balls better than actual cakes. I think, I, no, I did, okay. I thought I only did one row of single crochet, but I did do. So there's three hats. I just got to weave in their ends. One of them has more ends because it had a knot in it and I took the knot out so that it wouldn't come undone on the kid's head and ruin their hat. But there's three of them. And I just finished one talking to y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to hop off here and go eat and try to edit my two videos now because now I have two that need to be edited and get them up ASAP and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it, subscribe if you're not and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!